Time by Molly Good. In the land before time, in an age long ago, a dinosaur hatched and started to grow. Littlefoot was the name of this dinosaur boy. His mom was so proud, for he gave her great joy. Littlefoot's mom watched as he grew. Grandma and Grandpa watched over him, too. The times they grew hard as food became rare. The tree stars they fed on no longer grew there. Littlefoot had a tree star that his mom had found. He kept it for luck. Yes, he kept it around. Littlefoot met a friend. Sarah was her name. They raced and they chased. They played a good game. This friend had three horns. She talked very loud. She had a hard head. She was very proud. One day they were racing and chasing around when they heard something make a very big sound. Roar. A sharp tooth was coming. The noise he made sent them both racing. They were so afraid. Littlefoot's mom ran when she heard Sarah yell. Mom beat her long tail, and down Sharp Tooth fell. The Sharp Tooth fell down very hard on the ground, and just then the earth made another big sound. But it wasn't the Sharp Tooth that made the earth shake. What made the earth shake we call an earthquake. The quake made a gap. The gap was so wide. The moms and the dads were all trapped on one side. Go to the great valley and we'll meet you there. The moms and dads told their kids, stay together, take care. But Sarah told Littlefoot in a very proud voice, I will go by myself. Yes, that is my choice. Littlefoot did not mind. No, he just did not care. He just wanted his mom, but his mom was not there. He found her at last where she lay on a hill. She looked very sad, and she lay very still. Go to the great valley where tree stars grow thick. I cannot go with you, for I am too sick. Littlefoot was so sad, he hung his head low. Then he met an old one who told him to go. Go to the great valley, you must start today. Your mom's in your heart, she will show you the way. The day he set out was a day he was lucky. He met a new friend, and her name was Ducky. Ducky could swim and Ducky could talk. She had a big mouth and a very fast walk. And what do you know before the day's end, Littlefoot and Ducky had met a new friend. His name it was Petrie. He did not like to fly, but Petrie could climb and pick tree stars up high. Then they met Spike with his very slow walk. He was strong, liked to eat, but did not like to talk. Then Sarah showed up and fell in with the troop. She was safer, she knew, if she stayed with the group. They slept in a heap all through the night. Good friends kept you warm when the cold moon shines bright. 
they took the high path as day turned to night. Littlefoot led the way, for he knew he was right. He still had the, held the tree star that his mom had once found. He kept it for luck. Yes, he kept it around. His mom in the sky was showing the way. He just had to follow her day after day. But Sarah said, wait, this cannot be the way. I say, take the low path, the low path, I say. The others were torn. Take the high path or low. Go with Littlefoot or Sarah. They just did not know. Littlefoot told them, no, that is not the right way. I know in my heart it's the high path, I say. But they chose the low path. They made a mistake. The earth started rumbling. It started to shake. They fled to the high path. They left Sarah down there. But proud, proud Sarah told them, Go ahead. I don't care. Back on the high path, back on, on high ground, they heard something make a very big sound. The sharp tooth was coming. The noise that he made sent all of them racing. They were so afraid. All were scared except Littlefoot, who started to plot. Would this big bully beat them? Oh no, he would not. Sharptooth could not swim, and Littlefoot knew if he fell in deep water, the bully was through. He made a good plan that friends carried out. Part one called for Ducky to let out a shout. Sharptooth heard Ducky and got a good whiff and chased her right off of a very high cliff. Ducky fell in the water. She fell with a splash. The sharp tooth fell too. He fell with a crash. Then Ducky cried out, Help me, help me quick. That brave little Petrie then did a good trick. Petrie jumped down from that cliff very high. Yes, Petrie was brave. I can fly, I can fly. He pecked at the sharp tooth and made him soar. And sharp tooth gave out a very big roar. <clears throat> Part two of the plan was to push down a boulder. Spike pushed with his head, then he pushed with his shoulder. They had to work fast, this much they all knew. If Sharptooth got Petrie, then Petrie was through. Both of them pushed, and there just was no way. Then Sarah showed up and she helped save the day. The three friends pushed hard. Yes, they pushed every one. The boulder fell down and Sharptooth was done. <clears throat> then they came to the great valley on the very next day. Littlefoot had been right. He had shown them the way. Grandma and Grandpa, and the moms and dads too, were in the great valley where the best tree stars grew. And Littlefoot knew from the mom in his heart this was not the end. No, this was only the start.